first hour in game. So first things first, uh, create a character for the game. So your first login with a fresh character. And as I picked up my first um, three branches here, you saw I got a shit ton of uh, of um, uh, blueprints or recipes, if you will. And I'm gonna just gonna pick up pick up some more branches here. So that that's the first thing you do when you log into the game. Pick up all these um, what nice rocks and. Um, Three branches to find on the ground. This should be a safe location to um, to get your first first tools and uh, and materials. Yeah, we're they're actually going to press I. Go to craft, and we're gonna craft ourselves our first hammer. So we're making this hammer like that. Place it. This is your. Uh, action bar uh, let's make a stone axe as well we're gonna be needing that place that in your action bar and I usually go for a pointy stick and a crude shield as well right from the start just to have a bit more survivability in the game uh, that is not mandatory at all but um, I suggest everybody makes at least one one of these uh, because it also raises your carpentry level and the reason I took the blueberries here is because they give me max stamina so I'm eating that and my stamina max just went up because uh, everything you do in the game every skill you use uh, sprinting and uh, jumping climbing everything uses stamina Oh, here's some penny buns. Let's pick those up. Yeah, you learn to to um, look around you in the world. I'm going to place those in my action bar as well. And eat. Come now, on. Um, yes. Get some so, more to stuff. place your plot. First of all, you have to activate your construction hammer. So, you have to wield it. That's why I have it in the action bar. So, I press the number 4 key. Down there. Number four, and then I right click on my mouse and uh, and uh, then of course the plot itself. So I'm going to place this plot. I want to have that lower section. Let's see. Yes, I want this. Uh, I want this cliff, most of this cliff. Okay, so I'm going to. Snap it to my friend's plot right there, and uh, I think that's good enough. So now you can see the boundaries of my plot. This is where I can build. And uh, our plot is down. I already put down two foundations here. There is a wood chopping block, so you get that from the crafting section. Uh, you want to place down a wood chopping block and a basic carpenter's workbench as soon as possible. First thing you, you should uh, do after after you place these is uh, make chests. Make a, sh make a ton of chests. Because uh, the, start the started chests, they don't have much uh, inventory space. So they are going to be very useful. Uh, you, you're going to need a lot of chests so you can store all your items. So um, these are items I already did gather when I scouted out this location. And I'm going to put these here. So I'm going to go and uh, make one more chest here. Success. And then using the props menu to place it into the world. There we go. You can do a search here. Pick. So we need a stone pickaxe, and for that we need uh, two long wood stocks. So let's make some long wood stock here. And uh, while we're at it, we could also... Okay, there we go. 
got some new recipes and we could actually make some short ones as well. So we have at least one of each. We wanted to make a pickaxe. There we go. Let's try and get it done right away. The, uh, oh, oh, I did not fail. And I'll put that pickaxe right there. Now, because we have a pickaxe, we have an, uh, we have an actual axe and pickaxe, all the gathering, all the basic gathering tools are there. Uh, we might make an anvil stone right away as well. Because uh, we are going to make a kiln and a furnace soon. So we could basically just place that anvil stone right away. And we do that by going to the crafting menu. And because we crafted that anvil stone and we had some loose rocks and sapwood, we can now uh, do some iron work, which is nice. All right. Um, do we have any, any other stuff that we need here? Just a sec. So what we started with was uh, picking up sticks and stones. We made uh, the building hammer, the axe, pointy stick, basic shield, placed our plot. We have a chopping block, carpenter table. We made some chests. Next, we're going to craft, uh, create a charcoal kiln. And for that, we needed that clay that we picked up earlier. So uh, let's place a charcoal kiln. This is used to... Um, Turn wood, turn raw sapwood into charcoal. When that charcoal is done, it takes 20 minutes to cook. Okay, let's go and cook some more charcoal. Gonna need that. Gonna need all that charcoal later on. So we're going to need as much as possible. As you see here, people have made uh, charcoal kilns and these basic furnaces. So what these basic furnaces do is uh, you make uh, you smelt um, iron ore, impure iron ore, and then you use charcoal to make iron ingots, or charcoal and sand make glass. There we go. Now I we'll have some room so I can actually start gathering more stuff. So, this is what you go for. Let's see how, where our kiln is. Okay. We just opened the basic furnace recipe. Which is cool. And that requires... Oh, I think we have the perfect amount here. Yes, 8 stone. All that. And what else do we need? Short wood stocks. We need... Uh, four well, short wood stocks, so we are going to craft a few more. And... There. Gonna need 12 of them. They stack at 10, I think. So we're going to... Make, craft one more. There you go. And then put our furnace right here, next to the kiln. There you go. Now we know how to make some iron ingots and uh, also glass. And that's that for the start. Next, we're going to probably go mining. To start our mining and uh, metal crap. But all that is for another episode of Pax Day. Please like and subscribe or leave a comment down below for more content. Thank you.